Hello everyone, so by now you probably noticed I haven't been making very many videos lately and there's a couple of reasons for it. Main reason is the simple fact that I've been very, very sick lately. It started off early, probably around this time last week, where I was getting a little bit sick, you know, just for a couple of days and then after a while it just completely went away. And then a couple or a few days later I got sick with something else. My stomach was just feeling very terrible. I felt like vomiting and it was so bad that I feel like anything I would eat would only make it worse and I was only eating like one or two meals a day. I just felt really bad and then after a while it started getting better it didn't completely go away but it got better and then all of a sudden I got hit with a whole bunch of things and suddenly I got multiple things wrong with me and just really just overall very very sick one of those things being sore throat which I still have it a little bit and also coughing up stuff and also I had a major headache like a really major headache due to a lot of pressure built up in my head enough pressure to actually pop my ears which my ears are still popped right now and and also my stomach was still just feeling very, very terrible. And it's just, it's, it's, I, I just simply couldn't do any videos under those circumstances. I mean, not just because of my voice, but also because of the fact like right now my ceiling fan is turned off because I have to turn it off in order to record a video because the fan blade get, gets picked up like crazy under the microphone and it just, it's a very big pain in the butt just to actually do some audio editing and you can't completely get rid of the sound of the fan spinning. But also, just that makes it really hot in my room, and also when I'm rendering the video, it makes it hot in my room, and just the heat would make me feel sick and almost like vomiting or something. And luckily my stomach is perfectly fine right now. It hasn't fully recovered. It feels pretty normal, but I could, I don't know, it just feels different still just after feeling like that. But um, anyways, so for this video, there's two particular things I want to talk about. I'm sure you probably have heard of, at least about one of these things, and... You know, even though you probably have heard it from many different people, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it and just give you kind of my, you know, two cents about it and just overall what I think about it. Now, a lot of people that are using the iPhone 6 Plus, not the iPhone 6, but the iPhone 6 Plus, have noticed their phones have been getting bent pretty dang easily. Now, most of the people that are making those reports are wearing tight jeans, which it's common sense when you're wearing tight jeans that you run a risk of actually having your phone getting bent much more easily. And some of these people were putting in their back pockets like idiots, and why would you put a phone in your back pocket? It's one thing to put a wallet back there, but a phone doesn't make sense, at least if you're sitting down and that type of stuff. But there's still some legitimate claims where people even just putting in their front pocket are having it getting bent pretty dang easily. To see things get to this point is really, really bad, and most people do not want to spend $800 on this device just to have a chance of it getting, like, bent within just a couple of days or a week of using the dang thing. Like, if you're in a contract, how do you expect this thing to last two years? And I know for a fact that some carriers offer a protection plan, and they're probably losing money because of this, which is just crazy. Now, before any of you start defending Apple and start saying, well, you could just get a case, you know, for your phone and stuff. Well, that's true. And a lot of people that actually did buy the iPhone 6 Plus bought a case anyways, the fact of the matter is, you shouldn't have to buy a case. And it's not a life or death situation, but if you want this thing to last a year or two, you're going to have to buy a case, because if it starts getting bent easily, which it could, it gets bent pretty dang easily. The good thing is it doesn't crack the screen, but if you try to bend it back, it's likely to crack it. So that kind of does suck. But you shouldn't have to buy a case just to be able to have that phone be usable without it breaking or bending so easily over time. If you're wanting to go with an iPhone 6 Plus, I would recommend either, again, going with an iPhone 6 or not even going with one at all. And I say that because just like with gaming, day one DLC and pre-order games like, oh, if you, you know, buy it or pre-order at GameStop, you get this exclusive content that you cannot buy anywhere else or any other way otherwise. Any of that BS... The only way to tell them to stop doing that crap is to vote with your wallet. Because if they see the sales going up or staying the same, what's to keep them from to stop doing it? Like, well, people are obviously fine with it, you know. People are fine with our crappy built phones, so let's just keep doing it, you know. It means more profit for us anyway, so. But if they see it go down, or if it simply does not meet their expectations, they're going to investigate. They're going to look into it and be like, okay, you know, what's wrong? Why people don't like this phone? What's keeping it from making those sales? And they will notice a lot of people are having problems with the build quality. And that lets them know, okay, one of the things we needed to do when we release a new product, our next iteration of the iPhone smartphones, 
we need to focus on the build quality. And they need it to go up. If it starts, like, staying the same right now, I don't think people are going to buy an iPhone ever again. But it's getting to the point it's really just... It's not really worth it, and you're not getting a premium product anymore. And again, you're just going to have to vote with your wallet just like everybody else does. Because if not, they're just going to keep on doing it, and they're not going to change anything about it. So, Now the next thing I'm going to talk about is something that not too many people were actually aware of, but a good handful of people within the, M the MMO community actually were aware of this. And that is about a game known as Titan. But it actually wasn't, like, the full name. Like, they didn't actually make an official release of the name, I believe. It was just a name kind of made up or based upon the project name or something like that. And, you know, the company just went with the flow and, like, okay, we're just... Titan's okay. We'll just refer it to as Titan. And it was supposed to be the next big thing after World of Warcraft. Because even if you're not a big fan of World of Warcraft, the bottom line is about that game is that even if you don't like it, it was a very Im big impact on the MMO community. And what I mean by that is that it became the standard, like, it became the standard of MMO games. Every single time someone talks about an MMO game, they compare to World of Warcraft. Nine times out of ten, most people will compare to World of Warcraft. Well, if it doesn't fit, you know, these certain aspects and qualities of World of Warcraft, then, you know, what really makes this MMO game any better or even worth my money? So, people always do comparisons to that because it sets certain standards for MMO games. So they wanted to make the next big thing. They wanted to do it again because they thought to themselves that with our experience of making good MMO games, which I'll definitely give them a thumbs up for that, definitely good MMO games, you know, leave it up to them to actually design the next big thing, you know, and they thought with their experience, they would be the company to do it. But I'm not sure what happened along the way, but after working on this game for seven years, they decided to completely call it quits and just... just just completely drop it and just I'm sure a lot of people you know that are into MMO games are probably saddened by this and it kind of does suck especially after seven years of development which given not their entire team was working on it but still the fact that some people were working on it full time and still just seven years of time effort work and money down the drain like it was nothing is saddening but they came out and said that there's a couple of reasons why. The main reason is the fact that when they were working on this game, they had a really good vision of exactly what they wanted. And over time, they realized that it was becoming something that they definitely didn't quite want. And I don't know if their vision got clouded or if they completely forgot, you know, and just lost track of, you know, what they had in mind for this game. But the other reason is because they lost the passion, they lost the fun, like, they, they were probably thinking as gamers, which is a good way to look at things, but they really didn't even enjoy working on this game. There was no fun about it. They didn't have passion for it, and in a way it was getting to the point they were forcing themselves to do something they didn't want to do, and nobody should force themselves to do something if they don't enjoy doing it, even if it is their job, especially when it comes to something that involves a lot of creation and creativity. Something like this, you shouldn't force yourself to do it. Now, overall, I feel like this is just something really sad here to see them completely have wasted all those seven years, and I was really hoping they would make the next big thing because that would revolutionize the MMO market because they would set those new standards and... Even if the game was imperfect, if they could just surpass the other MMO games in certain ways or just blow people away, people set new standards and all the other companies that try to make MMO games will have to work pretty hard to actually compete. But not only that, but things will actually get better when it comes to MMO games. And I was looking forward to seeing something like that. And I feel like maybe it's just the, na the nature of the beast in some way. Maybe just when they were figuring, when they were getting in the mood and thinking about working on something that would surpass World of Warcraft, I feel like to really make something better than what they've already done that was so successful, they had to get very serious about it. They really had to really think things through. And maybe it was that serious attitude that, like, really made it harder for them to be not just creative, but maybe have fun about it. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe they just got too determined, too serious about making something better than what they previously did, that they just forgot to have fun. You know, as a consumer, this is really sad to hear, but as a 
I guess you could say a creator. It's it's not too surprising, and I do respect them for their decision. Even though as a business, it was a big waste of money, but, you know, can't really do much about it. And I don't want them to force themselves to do something that they don't enjoy actually doing, so. Well, other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. And sorry if this video is very crappily jump cut edited, and if my voice sounds terrible. As you can tell, my voice is still very bad, and I sometimes had a cough. And if you've heard some background noise... I'm not the only person sick in my house, so like two or three out of four people in my household are sick and just, it's it's really, really sucked and possibly the fourth one's going to be getting sick very soon, so yeah, it really, really does suck. Hopefully I'll get be much better very, very soon. There's a couple of videos in particular I've been actually thinking about making and uh, let's just say they all have certain similarities, something about possibly starting a new series, but I'm going to wait to see if I could come up with even more ideas for this particular uh, type of video. And if I can, then I think it will be definitely something very interesting. You know, maybe I'll just make it a monthly thing. You know, that's one thing I love doing is creating new types of videos that I can enjoy making and be able to do a pretty good job of coming up with new ideas for and that isn't too hard. And, you know, just, you know, even if I set them each monthly, that would be one extra video every single week, which is awesome. Can't really beat that. Yeah, guys, sorry about that last cut right there. Right when I was about to wrap things up, my camera decided to die on me. Kind of sucks, but luckily I got three batteries for my camera, so that's pretty nice. Don't have to worry about things too much. But, um, again, sorry that there's been so much jump cut editing in this video, but sometimes certain things happen without your, you know, just out of your control. And hopefully my voice gets better soon because, you know, I seriously want to be able to record as many videos as I possibly can soon. But if any gaming news or tech news and that type of stuff pops up, then I'll probably make a video about it anyways. But for like a really serious video or anything like that, or one that's educational and that type of stuff, then those are the kind of videos that I probably want to wait until my voice gets fully recovered before I actually start making videos and that type of stuff. So other than that, thank you all again guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.